everybody have been talking about this Gigoto tripod. It is the talk of the world that this tripod is super sturdy. I got mine. So let's get straight into the video and see if this tripod is actually what they said it is. If it is not what I expected it to be, I'm trashing it. Are you trashing it? Yeah. And stay connected. I will be now opening this. I got this over a week ago and I didn't touch it. I hope it's not too late to return if it, if it is actually horrible. I don't mean to rain that. Really? See what we got. Gigoto. This is a nice packaging, you know. A very nice packaging. Am I recording at all? Okay, seems I'm recording. Yes. I'm not balanced right now. This goes on the bag. This is another bag. This is quite interesting. Guys, I'm so happy I got this for myself. Yeah. And this is the real deal. Oh, this came with a screw. Can you see that? I'm actually very far from my camera right now. I'm using the the lens that came with the camera, so it's not close. It's a wide angle lens. So, truth be told, this camera seems so sturdy. It is not that heavy, but you know, when you carry something and you know that it weighs. And I am assuming before even putting it down that it's going to be sturdy. Truth must be told. <laughs> I really hope I don't ring this. Okay, I'm putting it down right now. And I learned that we can actually remove any of these for a monopod. Like, probably you want to vlog, you want to take selfie with your camera. These are removable and you can use them. So we've got three monopods. That stripped me off my feet and I got this because of those reasons. Now, how do we bring it up? I'm telling you this camera is sturdy. I know this tripod, hey. It's bent. It's bending. I don't know what I did. Okay. They say we can use this for a monopoly. Let's see. This is a monopod, guys. We can use this for a monopod. For vlogging and everything, I just hold it like this. Then probably put the hot shoe and start recording. Here. Okay. So this. I don't know why. I can't straighten this. Here it's Oh my god. Okay. I think we'll use this. I'm finding finding it so difficult to so. oh because I couldn't move this. I said I think this is the right thing to do. I need the man to help me hard with this. 
Uh, what a man can do. A woman can actually do this. <laughs> you just figure how to, you know. Hey. Then how do I lock it? So guys, yeah. I think I just we just need to move it up. Bring it down. I'll move it up to this line. Can you see this? So move it down. Is this thing focusing at all? Move it down. Then move your tripod drop. Then put it ah, right here. It stays. I think I may have to return this tripod. I'm going man because this thing is difficult to can you see guys this thing is not easy to assemble okay I have extended the leg now what see it's scattered I don't know mm. Please, what's this? So if I lost this in that's the end for this record. Is it bent? Okay. 
So guys, what this actually says is, you push this. When you push this button, there's a button here. You push up, push down, push up, push. Up. When you push, it can go up. It can come down. You just hold it. When you want it to come down, just release it, and that's it. Okay, I stay. Why is it going down? See, it's going down by itself. This could actually arm your camera. So maybe I just need to lock it. So guys, it was a big struggle before I could actually find how to, you know, assemble the leg and make a study like this. So what I actually did was, you know, I pulled this. Now it's study. If you want to, if you want to release it, you just have to screw this back. I don't want to do it again. Okay, let me try this one. Yeah, this thing is a very, very important tool. If this is lost, then you'll be unable to, you know, disassemble or assemble this. So now, I want to raise it up back. I put it on level two. It has to be on the same level with the other legs. Like, I put everything on this level. This level right here. We have one, two. So I put it on the second level. So all I have to do is just shift. Then put it on the same on the level two. Then you actually have to screw it back. Yeah. This is big work, you know. Screwing and unscrewing. So to be studying. I found a solution guy. It's not study. Now I can place it down. Then from oh my god. Is that screw lost? Then this tripod is gone. So now we have to raise this up. I don't know how this works because it's just moving up and down. I need it to stay up. So I don't know. See? This is the last screen. And it's still going. Maybe I can do this. Ah. See? This can arm my camera. Like my I think it's made for all these people that do cinema and they want to move up and down, do slow motion. I just fucking need this thing to stay up, please. Yeah, I've done my best to, you know. Yeah, I hope I don't. Yeah, it's a bit sturdy. You want to know my honest reveal? This thing is super sturdy, but to assemble it, God. It's a bit of. Ow. Ah. All I did was to let's release it. It can go up and down, up and down, up and down. But now, I want to make it study. Stay in one place, please. Yeah, it's, it's not going. The one down is still going. I don't understand. Then we see how this one moving. See how this moving. I think you just have to lock it here. I don't, know. I don't know why it's moving. Okay. This is losing it. Then this is locking it. Yeah. Okay, I want to release this a bit. Okay, see this. Can you see this? So, to stay, everything is just locking. But damn it. This is still going. I try to lock it. Okay, let me release everything. I don't understand. Let me see. Oh god. It's not open. Oh 
You just have to be careful. That's all. Mm. I'm actually good down. You see? It's going down. Okay. And we have to. When you are locking it, when you are locking it rather, just put it backward like this. Don't bring it up. Put it backward like this, I suppose. On this. Wait, I think we are supposed to lock this first. Okay, this one is for it. This this small lock is for it to come down and go up. Come down and go up. So once we lock it, it can it can go down again. You see? It's not lovely. Oh, that's not it too. Okay. I guess this one is for it to go down and go down. This is just try and error, you know. Oh, this is what is making it go up and down. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, yeah. Then how do we make it taller? I know we have something here. Yeah. What is this for? I don't know. Okay. So guys, my honest review on this Gigoto tripod. Yeah. This, what is that? On this Gigoto tripod. My honest review. It is sturdy. Yeah, I think. But I don't really see any difference between it and my Amazon basic that I'm using for my ring light right now. And it is expensive. It is around 170 Canadian dollars. Then Oh my god, it is an edict to set it up. Setting it up is edict. <sighs> will I buy it again? I would rather go for the Amazon business that costs around $50. But if you are into filming and if you are into, you know, all this street photography, you want to take pictures of legs, you want to take pictures of things that are low, things that are up, you want to move it, you know, and the tripod up and down, up and down. Then this uh, Gigoto tripod is for you. You know, you can swing it, remove the leg, use it. You can remove the leg and use it as a monopod. You know, I've not really done anything vlogging before outside my room. So probably that will be useful. But right now I'm just filming in my room and I just need my camera to be stable in one position for my makeup tutorial. So... If you just need anything to just put in your room, just go for the Amazon Basic. I'm using it right on my tripod and on my ring light. I never had any issue with that. So, using this for my camera right now. It's super dope. It's sturdy. Will I buy it again? Just for room production. I'll go for a cheaper option. Like the one I, the one I trust and I believe is sturdy. Amazon Basics. So that is my honest review, guys. But if you are into going outside, doing all this cinematography stuff, we want to film outside, you want to be able to bend or bend your tripod, move your tripod up, move it low and down, then you can go for this Gigoto tripod. So guys, that is my review on this. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I really appreciate. Right now, I'm going to do the unboxing of so many things. I have my beauty dish. I'm going to link all the video. To, I'm going to link uh, the link to the. I'm going to put the link to the video. I'm going to put them down in the description box. So I'm going to be unboxing my strobe lights. What's the name? I forgot. I'll just check my phone and say the delivery option. I'm going to uh, be unboxing my beauty dish. Everything that is going to make my YouTube beauty tutorial dope i have gotten everything 
it caused to be a lot like I was saving and saving and I wasn't even buying good stuff for myself this has just been what I dream for I want to have a good you know YouTube tutorial a classy one so the only thing I've not gotten is the M50 lens so that I can have a bouquet background and a very very close you know a very very close face for me but this uh this lens that comes with it I can actually zoom it in and zoom it out I can zoom it in and zoom it out so if I I think if I need bouquet I just have to zoom it in you can see that the background is a bit blurry and I really think I love the background right now. <laughs> I really love the background. So I may be putting my ring lights behind. I really don't need it any longer because I have my beauty dish. I have my soft boss. <laughs> I got everything. I have another beautiful strobe light that everybody on the internet has been ranting about. Then I'm going to link. I forgot the name. Oh my gosh. I bought many things. I forgot the name. But I'm just going to put my ring light just to brighten the background more and more. Probably it's going to work. This is just my wardrobe and that's just the window. And I think this follow comb lens is good, right? That's a bouquet background, you know. Yeah, so thank you guys for staying tuned. I hope to see you in my next video. If you want to see the outcome of my beauty studio, like after setting up everything, just check the link in the description box. Then you will find all the links to my unboxing, to all the equipment that I bought and unboxing them. Thank you. See you in my next video. Oh, that's the screw for the gigato. See you in my next video. Bye.